Hello everyone, let's start with a comparison. The right image is rendered at 1080p with no anti-aliasing applied. On the left is the same image but rendered at 4K. You can easily see in the 1080p image the road lines have disconnections and in general the entire image suffers from jagged edges problems. The 4K one looks much more promising, even the disconnections look semi-fixed. Increasing the resolution seems like a fix when we look at these two pictures, but they are not pictures actually. So let's play it and look again. As you can see, motion aliasing is still there, and the performance impact is too high to justify this, especially for low-end systems. The real problem with GTA 5 is motion aliasing. This happens because faraway objects are rendered at half or even quarter resolutions. Don't get me wrong here, far away means only a couple of meters away for this game. The game offers us four different types of anti-aliasing options. A performance-friendly FXAA, which is good, but does nothing for motion aliasing. A performance heavy low quality MSAA, hopefully this fixes on the geometry and does nothing for lightning and shadows. A performance heavy on low quality frame scaling option, on paper this is just increasing the resolution, but unfortunately it uses a low quality filter for downscaling, and this results in bad final image. And finally, an NVIDIA only solution, TXAA, which creates ghosting artifacts and it's not as much effective. For AD motion artifacts, the only useful solution is to increase sample count, and this is only possible with these methods. 1. Increasing the resolution, 2. TAA, 3. SSAA or MSAA, and 5. The best one is SMIA 4 times. All of these techniques need to be implemented by the game developers. They cannot be injected by users, and the closest one we have in GTA 5 is MSAA. But in game MSAA needs a quality boost. This is where EMB comes into play. Now, let's look at another comparison. This time, Pure 4K against 1080p with high quality 4 times MSA and high quality FXAA upscaled to 4K with AMD's FSR. This combats motion aliasing way better. And let's see the performance metrics again. The performance is also better, so this is a better solution overall. If you are convinced already, we can proceed to the installation part. First, a friendly reminder, I do not make this software and I do not know how anti-cheat mechanisms will treat them. So be careful while using these tools in online gameplay, or even better, don't use them online. Luckily, they are perfectly fine for offline gameplay. The two software you need are Reshade and EMB. We must start with EMB. Here is how to do it. Head to the EMB webpage. Find GTA 5 download. And download the latest one. Once downloaded, extract the archive. Copy contents of wrapper version into the base game folder. And now, go to your browser again and open Reshape page. Download it and install it by double clicking. Navigate to your game EXE. Here it asks for which FX to install. I always install all of them, because I like to tinker with different effects, but all you need is the sweet effects package. Once 
Once the installations are complete, navigate to the game files, find emblocal.ini file, and open it with a text editor. Under the proxy section, the values must be true, false, and D3D11 DLL, respectively. These values allow both EMB and Reshade to hook properly to the game at the same time. The installation part is complete, now let's start the game. In settings we must set FXAA off MSA to 4 times, Reflection MSA to also 4 times. Do not use NVIDIA or AMD shadows. If you have enabled TXA or frame scaling options, disable them too. And also set grass quality to high. Don't go for very high or ultra. They may create performance problems with MSAA enabled. Very high and ultra don't add any more grass anyway. They just add more shadows and EMB will cover that area for us. All set. And here comes the most important part. Restart the game. Many people avoid MSAA thinking that it has rendering problems. All these problems go away if you restart the game after enabling MSAA. Now it's time to set up EMB and reshade. We can start with EMB again. Press Shift Enter. EMB actually comes with many additional goodies for the game, but for the purpose of this video, I'll only enable anti-aliasing part and will disable all other irrelevant parts. You can simply follow what I'm doing on the screen. All you have to do is to enable only MSA FX and disable every other things. Finally, Disable original lens effects and distortions as it distorts the final image and prevents the anti-aliasing doing its job. Once you're done, first click save and then add by. The MB part is ready. We can switch to Reshade. Press Home button. If this is your first time installing Reshade, I recommend doing the tutorial. If not, you may skip it. The default home key also opens in-game Rockstar menu, so change it to another key for convenience. Once you're ready, look for FXA. And the button? Find quality preset and set it to 39. Subpixel to 0 0.5 and the other two values to 0. Now go to settings. Enable load on the used effects button and don't forget to switch to performance mode. That's it. You're ready. You can start playing the game and immediately notice how little the motion aliasing is now. If the performance impact is too high or your VRAM is full, you should lower the resolution. This is where FSR comes into play. In order to use FSR, you have to pick one of the two applications, Postal Scaling or Magpie. They are fairly easy to use and I already have a guide about how to use them. I'll link it in the description to keep this video shorter. At the moment of making this video, Postal Scaling, even though being a paid app, is the clear winner because Magpie may crash at high resolutions occasionally. Also, lossless scaling has slightly lower input lag and is more suitable for high frame rate gaming. If you enjoyed the results, please don't forget to come back and share your results and opinions in the comment section. Thank you for watching and happy gaming!